Hi traders, Facebook starting with a gap down today and it's trying to move higher and I think I should have a gap and go here if it comes down under 260 to 50 so in fact I'm looking for a failure now watch the sellers watch the buyers okay buyers now at 260 to 60 let's see if it's going to move under 50 if it does I'm going to click the button and hoping for a gap and go okay under 50 click the button I'm short stop is going to be over the whole number so I'm risking like 50 cents here and hoping to see it moving lower Tesla on the bottom as you can see is also a candidate come on Facebook move oh no no watch the buyers here watch the sellers the sellers just at 80 90 not good I'm gonna to have to close the trade if it moves over 263 for a 50 cent loser it's not looking good now over and closed losing trade how fast did I lose $3,000 <laughs> sometimes you make money real quick sometimes you lose money real real quick that was a real quick loser AYX traders is looking great because it's holding to the highs and if it's going to move over 142 I'm going to take this trade uh, I'm about to go long over 142 watch the sellers here 142 now clicking I'm long got it at 142.45 I was hoping for a better feel than that but it's a big mover it should do well beautiful technical formation Tesla failing to move higher look at the way it fails try to move higher failed came down try to move higher again failed again now it's coming down under 425 and I'm about to short watch the buyers 425 here when they move under I'm going to click actually I think I'm going to move before clicking here I think it's about to move under it did not oh come on baby move under I trusted you trusted you yes now it did okay I'm short Tesla hoping for a big move here because the market is also kind of failing to move higher right now and I think Tesla is likely to change direction and start downtrending from here looking good uh, Logi and IOVA both look like an interesting short I'll start here with IOVA about to short short 4,000 shares now as you can see it's a probably a gap and go trade try to move higher failing should come down AYX did great it just moved over the highs now I'm about to take my partial just a three grand here okay taking my partial now well <laughs> main thing I covered my Facebook almost covered my Facebook loss let's hope for the next trade now Tesla's doing good Tesla's doing good seven grand it's moving down eight grand about to cover oh this is nice this is nice about to click the button at any sign of a pullback I think it's coming now now took my partial in Tesla well I am nicely in going now AYX covered my Facebook loss and Tesla putting me back in very green territory doing good for now about to short Logi Logi is looking good another gap and go about to short short now uh, there's another gap and go trade try to move higher probably failing should come down from here Logi did great as you can see it came down nicely I'm over two thousand dollars and I'm about to take my partial here and I am taking it right now that did very well but on the other hand IOVA is not moving IOVA is not going anywhere I'm up for four hundred dollars or so but there's no reason to hold to a stock that is not really moving so if it's going to move over 27 in fact I don't think I should hold for that over 26.90 I'll be out just moving up now I'm out okay no reason to hold to a stock that is not going anywhere and you know what let's have that as our recap discussion which is coming right now traders my trading day is finished for the day and as you can see here I'm up ten thousand dollars and a little bit more open on my open trades I had one losing trade which I started with Facebook it's always hard to start with a losing trade but then came uh, three nice winners and a very small one which is like uh, kind of flat what I do want to talk about today is um, not really my winners but actually the one which is just an $87 winner or let's call it uh, <laughs> or let's call it uh, I mean it's not a winner not a loser so uh, whatever it is anyway I'm watching IOVA here and the entry was right I mean there's nothing wrong about this one that's what I want to discuss here there was nothing wrong about this one 
I moved in where I should, just under $27. The stock uh, started with a big gap down today, tried to move higher, uh, came down. You know, the first reversal on a stock that uh, gap down is usually a good entry point. In fact, we had a very nice trade with uh, Logi, which was quite the same thing. Uh, Scott called this one today. I took it. It's one of my winners today. And uh, look at uh, the way it behaved. I mean, it looks quite similar to IOVA. So stocks that started with the gap down, moved higher, reversed. We took it on the reversal, worked out fine. Um, and um, now, you know, the market's moving up. We just see a new high, uh, S&P and NASDAQ. And um, therefore, there's uh, not likely that it's going to continue lower. Uh, but how to say. What I do want to talk about is the reason why I moved out of IOVA. You know, the thing is about having a position going through a trade and holding to the stock up to a certain point that's the topic of my let's call it a lesson today because what i want to talk about is why do we hold stocks for a little bit more than what we should hold them for for example I took IOVA right where I should have. Technically speaking, there was nothing wrong about this trade. Did it work out? Well, just a bit. I, my target was farther, so I did not reach my target. I also did not reach my stop loss. But you may remember I mentioned earlier that I'm going to stop it over $27. And then I felt like it was going sideways for too long and I had no reason to hold. And now it moved over $27. So this could have been a very small loser for me. On the other hand, I moved out a little bit below 27 and it became a very very small winner so the idea is when you have a stock that is just going sideways you shouldn't be holding you know when i was taking iova i was expecting it to break down you know gap and go a nice technical formation everything my expectations were that the stock will reach uh, my target i was wrong and since I was wrong, I, I need to face the consequences. And that means I'm not supposed to be holding it more than I should. So, you know, look at IOVA. Stock kind of tells you, I don't know what I want to do. If you ask it, what's the next step you're going to do? It just looks in your face and says, I don't know. I'm just going sideways. If the stock is just going sideways, you're like playing black or red on a casino's a roulette machine you're just playing black or red nobody giving you any free drinks when you're playing black or red in in the, in the stock market you may get some in 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 vegas but not here so in fact you're playing a black on an or red uh roulette on a stock that you shouldn't be messing around with for example the stock goes right sideways for a long long time would you take it now for a short for example just forget about the 27 dollars that just cost higher so let's say it's just going sideways and i would look at it and i would ask myself should i click the button right now and move in the answer is definitely not because the stock is going sideways so why do i still hold to my earlier position you know the thing about holding positions is because we hope we hope that something will happen we do not want to admit our loss. We don't want to admit the fact that we did a mistake. It's natural. That's the way we are as humans think. We never like to admit that we did something stupid. So the stock is going sideways. It's actually telling me you did something stupid. You were not supposed to uh, wait that long. Uh, you expected it to come down. It did not come down. You expected it to move lower. It did not move lower. So the reasonable question is, why do I keep holding? Well, because I'm a human being and I do not like to, me too. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, I'm innocent of doing wrong. I'm, I'm just saying that I need at some point to face the fact that I did something wrong. It's hard for me to Maybe it is harder for me than for you guys because I'm here in this trading room, thousands of people are watching me. I do not like to admit the fact that I've done something wrong. I would love to have a winner. I would love to see you guys saying, uh, well, we had another uh, wonderful winner and, you know, uh, congrat congratulate us for having a great trading session. So, you know, maybe my situation is a little bit even higher, uh, harder than yours. But nobody likes to admit a loss. Nobody likes to exit a stock that is not going anywhere. 
you need to question this point all the time. You took a stock, you're going long, you're going short, it doesn't matter. It's not going your way. Don't get to the spot when you're just a gambler in a casino. Figure out that you took the, the at a certain point, figure out that you took the trade and it's just not going your way. Uh, you know, get over your emotions because your basic emotion is telling you, hold on, something good is going to happen. But in fact, if you would re-enter the stock at the same point, you will, if, if somebody would suggest that you should re-enter the stock at the same point, you probably won't because it's just going sideways. So, you know, think about the fact that emotionally you do not want to live a failing trade. And I'm not even talking about a failing trade. I'm talking about the trade that's going sideways. Most of the time, this trade was in green territory. You know, it's even harder to exit a trade which is in green territory. That's what I did. I took two, three cents of profits and I exit this trade. It is harder to exit when it's green. It's easier to exit when it's a bit, a bit red because then you really feel like, well, maybe I've done something wrong. Maybe I should move out. Now I have a loser. Think about the fact that I, I exit this trade when it was in green territory, hoping that it will still come down. I was short. It's a bit harder. So you need to think at all times whether you should hold on or just give up. Giving up on the loser, it's easier than giving up on the winner. But I should have given up on this trade, in fact, before I clicked the button. I should have realized that even before. I glad I had the mental power to move out at a small loss, a small winner, actually. Because if I would have kept it a little bit more, look at what happened just over 27. It moved up, what, 25, maybe 30 cents or so. 30 cents, 4,000 shares, that would have been a $1,200 loser. And I prevented that by taking a $87 winner paying for my dinner today with this trade. So you see, it's all about emotions. Just face the fact that you're doing something wrong sometimes and, uh, you know, just get over it. And uh, all the time question whether you should hold it or not. Now, take a look at AYX. Uh, AYX also just going sideways. Face it. It's not going your way. Tesla, still going my way. I'm still short the stock. Logi, I moved out. It just went sideways too long. I'm also out. So just face the consequences. Question what you're doing at all times. And just, you know, don't hold to a winner, not only to a loser. Don't even hold to a winner if it's not going your way. Just move out. And always ask yourself if, if at that particular point where the stock is, would you move into a trade right now? Like IOVA, would you click the button and move short right now? I definitely won't. Stock's going sideways, like telling me I haven't decided what I'm going to do next. So there's no reason for me to hold. That's it. A short lesson on a stock that I did not, uh, that did not become a winner. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Um, see you tomorrow, traders. Have fun. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet Trading Room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.